Hey everybody, it's Joe the 3D Printing Professor, and have you tried Marble PLA? It's a really fun type of filament that from a distance just kind of looks like maybe slightly darker white or slightly desaturated orange, but when you look close, the filament actually has little speckles in it that creates a very subtle effect like stone in your 3D prints. But before I get to talking more about that, I want to share with you about my Discord. Have you checked it out? We've got a great community of people who are doing great things with 3D printing and helping others do great things as well. I hope to see you there. So after the end of the Print-A-Quest Kickstarter, I started playing with the idea of making physical sets, including getting boxes, printing rules, and 3D printing the full set of print quests so that somebody could potentially get started playing it without having to have a 3D printer themselves. However, since the first set took place in these kind of stone ruins, I wanted to decide which filament I was going to use, what colors I was going to use for them, and I decided that I wanted to do it with some of this marble PLA from my friends at Polymaker. Polymaker has a wide array of marble filaments in their Panchroma line. They've got their marble white, which is white with little black or gray flecks in it. They've got marble sandstone, which is this kind of desaturated orangish yellow, which also has little black or gray flecks in it. And yeah, it looks kind of like sandstone. They've got marble limestone, which is uh, kind of an ecru, off-white. And while it's not quite as bright white as the marble sandstone, it looks more, I don't know, natural to me. And then they have marble slate gray, which is kind of a bluish, again, with little flecks in it. They've also got a red brick, which is red with little flecks in it. Now, in trying to decide which ones I want to use for Print-A-Quest, I want to use two of them. One for the walls, one for the floors. And I'd like them to be contrasting colors, and I'd also like them to be something that looks good in photographs. So I wanted to show you a couple of samples that I've put together and have you decide which one you think I should go forward with. To begin with, we've got this slate gray with a white marble floor on it. Next, we've got the limestone with the sandstone floor on it. Next, there's the white marble walls, this time with the limestone floors. And lastly, there is the sandstone walls with the slate gray floors. Of course, we could rearrange these, mix and match them however you want. If you think maybe the white marble would do better with the slate gray or vice versa, let me know in the comments which one you think would be best. Of course, this doesn't really apply to the swamps, which Print-A-Quest has already gone to, which has nice little water floors and swampy floors and trees all over the place. The rocks don't really play into it, except that every one of the maps uses some portion of the ruins in their map build to add a little bit of variety. So maybe that should be a consideration or maybe we just shouldn't worry about it. But let me know which combination you think would be best. And you should check out Polymaker's Panchroma line of filament, especially their Marble PLA. If you've never printed with Marble PLA, it's a kind of fun effect and you should check it out. But that's it for this video. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I want to remind you that you are a child of a loving Heavenly Father. He cares about you. So do I, so take care of yourself, and if you can, someone else too. I'll see you next time.